Delicious move. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another video today, the 88 rated headliner Marco Arnautovic player review, I didn't think I'd be using this card again, in fact, two days ago, he came that close to going into the Serie A team of the season because I thought it was done, uh, but it turns out that they go beyond the season, so the team of the week this week was obviously given based on international duty, and Arnautovic managed to pick something up there for Austria, which is a good to see because for a while as well, it took a long time to update it. A while people were thinking that it was done. I don't think I don't know if one to watches get boosted anymore, but headliners do regardless. So here we are with an 88. His 87, incidentally, uh, which is which is the the inform price is down even now, and I'm filming this the day it comes out on the Wednesday evening. He is forty thousand coins for the 87 rated inform. So, I mean. Some impressive stuff, really, to be to be released and then literally within hours to be 40,000 coins, despite the fact that it's a pretty good card. The headliner is around 168,000, although you can't get it anymore, but that's what it was when it was uh, when it was available. So this on the market would probably be, what, 70, maybe 80 at a push. Uh, as you can see, his, uh, his record isn't great for me. To be fair, he literally comes on now and again at the end of the game just to see out the game he's not really put on for scoring goals his stats are pretty good i'm not really sure what the upgrade was from the 87 realistically so uh, let me just take a very a very quick look at this so from the 87 he's got an extra one and two on things so to be honest even if you don't have this version of the card which obviously like i said you can't get anymore the 87 isn't that far away for what for like what did i say Forty thousand coins He's got one less pace, one less dribbling, uh, two less shooting, one less defending, two less passing, and one less physical. So, like I said, it's not a million miles away. The Hawk Chem style is a chem style that I've left on it from the previous time that I've used this card. Uh, I think I wanted to improve that acceleration and sprint speed. We do get a nice plus 10 on the jumping. He is, of course, 6'4". We do have 4 star, 4 star. But plus 5 strength is good. 9 on aggression is fantastic for his heading ability. Uh, 81 heading accuracy isn't fantastic, unfortunately, but it is what it is. We haven't touched dribbling or passing. And then, of course, we've uh, refined the shooting, should we say. Up to 99 on attack positioning. Uh, 93 on finishing. 99 shot power. 99 volleys. And 97 penalties. Uh, there isn't an awful lot to talk about there. I think you've, you've I mean, you can kind of guess the team I've got him in. Although the back line has changed because I'm uh, currently reviewing another player. And that is team of the season, Donnarumma. A lot of people told me to try him out. So there he is. We are giving him a go. Uh, Bale, classic. I know he is on the right hand side. I have to use Bale in this FIFA. He's just that good. Uh, my defense isn't great. Kind of part of the reason really is because I want to test Donnarumma as much as possible. But... Uh, it'll be Rivaldo left, Bale right, Arnautovic up top by himself. And that is a, a quite a tall, strong front three. And then Santi Cazorla in and behind. Uh, but, but without any further ado, let's find out if this is a big improvement over the 87, even though there's only really one point here or there. Rivaldo around the outside to Arnautovic. Arnautovic has got some decent crossing here. Can he put a good ball in? He can to Santi Cazorla. Oh, my God. Uh, it was a good ball, but not to Santi Cazorla it wasn't. There's Vendel. There's Bale. Could have hit that first time. Gives it to Arnautovic, who does hit it first time with the weak foot. Good save from Le Comte. And that goes out for a corner. Little step overs. Inside it comes. There's Fabinho. This is going to come to Gareth Bale. I'm going to send Gareth Bale on a run here. Danny Carvajal with a ball. It's a good ball as well. If the defender latches on, which he doesn't, then we could be in business here. Some step overs. I'm going to drag this back and just pop this ball into the box. We should have Anautovic in there ready to head that home. And there it is. Just toying it and just teeing it up. And it's there on a plate for Anautovic. To be fair, right? I know it's a header. However... Uh, I wasn't sure whether he'd be that good at, at being able to abuse the meta because yeah okay he's six foot four which is good but his jumping isn't great and his heading ability isn't fantastic we do get a rage quit there which is a shame actually because that guy was a good opponent not really sure why he's decided to leave the game however um I mean that was literally the 
the second shot Arnautovic has, has got himself on target with. Uh, cross is complete. One of two for Arnautovic, one of two for Bale. So only really a 50% strike rate on the crosses. But uh, I was concerned that his heading ability wasn't going to be good enough. Height wasn't an issue. The jumping, therefore, wasn't an issue. But the accuracy there was fine. My next opponent for... My very underpowered team is against a, not an overpowered team per se, but that's a very good card. And he's had some insane red player pick luck. That is incredible. Son, Hazard, and PK to name but three. I'm sure he's had more along the way as well. Carvajal sending Bale up and over the top. And uh, he's not going to quite win that battle, unfortunately. Oh, he's played it, and Anatovic is going to pick this up. Nods it to Rivaldo, gets it back. This is uh, Cazorla. Nice poked ball through to Gareth Bale, who gets it onto his left, plays the ball in. Header comes, and there is Cazorla in the back of the net. It was well worked. Yes, it was another cross, but to be fair, my team is so far behind this, guys. I'm going to need to use every bit of, uh, I don't know, mechanic, I guess, to my, to my advantage. That was an emphatic finish from Cazorla. Here is uh, Anatovic, little La Croqueta. We're going to be able to create the space here. Rivaldo has actually told Arnautovic to go, and he's in behind. The goalkeeper's going to come for it. Lovely first touch from him. Second touch is not too bad at all, and it's a great block from Sanchez. And not a bad effort from Arnautovic. A good pace to get behind the back line. Good ball into the box here. Gareth Bale with a header, and he's just miscued it, and it's actually gone behind him. Interception, Cazorla gets it back. There's Rivaldo, little 1-2 maybe. Arnautovic going around the outside. I might try and put a ball into the box here if I can. If I can find the space, which I have done. Great ball in. Bale is there. And he really should have been doing better with that Gareth Bale. It's going to come to Cazorla. Arnautovic on the turn. And I don't know what I expected from that. But he's kicked it near post instead of going around to the outside going to get it again here. No, he isn't because all his pass wasn't great. This is Arnautovic. Little 1-2. Send him over the top again. He's got the pace and the power to take him beyond. Look at that. Look at the speed on, on Arnautovic. Little flick inside. It's like it's nice football. Nearly took it outside and his pass inside was awful. I didn't really know what was going on, if I'm honest. I was trying to uh, get it under control and it never really looked like it was. Ball inside to Fabinho. Back out to Wendell. Going to send Arnautovic on a run here. No, I'm not, because he's reading it all the way. There is Cazorla. This is Rivaldo. Lovely ball through to Gareth Bale. And it's in the back of the net. And I know Arnautovic didn't touch that ball. But I'm going to leave that clip in there for Arnautovic. Because he had a key role to play there. He distracted my opponent tremendously. It could have been anyone, to be fair. So I'm not just saying oh, Arnautovic is brilliant because he can distract people with his runs. But I sent Arnautovic on a run on the left. And my opponent completely fell for it, started following him down that wing, and then I went through the through the middle and then round the outside, and he couldn't counter. It was Gareth Bale who just lifts it, and I could have easily have gone for goal there, and Arnautovic has had it back again. I should have gone for goal. I didn't realise I would be unmarked. That's a shame. Arnautovic's shot was a little bit on the woeful side, if I'm honest. Ultimately, of course, if you don't have this card, then this review is all but irrelevant, unless, of course, EA do the best of... Uh, after Team of the Season finishes, and Anatovic maybe gets put in packs, maybe they re-release the SBC or something, I'm not sure. Or maybe one day he gets put in foot swaps, uh, we don't know. But what, what I do know is that the inform has already been reviewed on this channel, because I reviewed the 87 rated headliner at the time. So feel free to check that out if you, if you wish to do so, although my opinion on him may have changed by now. Although saying that, I'm very pleased with this card, to be honest. It's one of those that on paper looks okay, doesn't look fantastic, but still can perform and do a job even now when you are coming up against full icons and full team of the season sides, red picks everywhere. He's very good in the air, he's very good on the floor, he's got 4 star, 4 star, high, high medium work rates are brilliant, 6 foot 4 is fantastic, it fits the meta so so well, but he's more than just a meta player. He is more than just someone to swing the ball into. He's able to take people on. He can cross himself, which is fantastic. He's very quick, especially with the um, the Hawk Kempstall on top. Feels very, very fast. There's a few instances I think I've shown you where he was literally just rinsing people who are far quicker than he is. All in all, I would say that this card is a very, very good one. And if you have it, 
maybe dig it out and give it a go if you've still got it because it's definitely a card off the bench I think that would benefit a lot of people there are quite a few players out there who have gone away from the game and come back and that of course means that this guy might be your best striker and if he is don't be worried about that get him on there and, and get him in amongst the goals because I'm telling you now he will score plenty for you if you have enjoyed this review do me a favor and smack that like button subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time goodbye